Hello everyone, Sentinel Duck 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Industrial Expansion. A mod that simply adds in a coal to diamond recipe, as well as a few things like quantum armor and certain other stuff. So, we're covering the 1710, 1102111211121621 versions, um, as well as configs and other bits and pieces. So, start with 1710 of course. Which adds in, obviously, some iridium ore, a test item, the coal sort of components for the diamond recipe, a multi-tool, quantum armor set, and iridium. So you can mine the iridium ore with diamonds, or higher, you get iridium, and there's obviously the recipes for the quantum here with some tin, some flux capacitors, and a few other bits and pieces. Um, machine frames, diamond leggings, some illuminators. Endurium and some hardened glass and aluminium and such. So that's how you make those. You've got the multi tool, which is just like so. You fill that up with resonant ender and a fluid transposer. So these are pretty much just an item, so we don't really need that. Uh, so we'll just, I guess, test the armor and tools and move on to the diamond recipe and test item. So the armor, when you put all of it on, so you just take it off then. Yep. So if you have any piece of armor, it'll give you. Okay, so the entire set actually. Yep. I wasn't sure just in case in this version compared to others. So you get night vision, speed, and saturation constantly, as long as you have the armor on. Obviously, we've seen the recipes, and they do have about. I think that's what. Twenty billion, I think, uh, yeah, in each. And uh, obviously, if you take damage, um, I assume there's lava here, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's just a thing there. It's going to negate damage for you, it seems. So it can negate damage for you, and if you take damage from like cactus or lava or certain stuff like that, then obviously it'll protect you. Ooh, just do this, and I can't do that because it's on the wall edge. Just leave it here. So we do this, and we just take damage for us. It's obviously quite powerful. Now, if we just take off a few pieces, you can see obviously it does give you quite a bit. I think it fills up the entire grid there accordingly, like so. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as I can tell for. The armor, the multi tool obviously has 14 damage, has the following durability, and uh, is quite quick on stone. We'll try making our way up here. Obviously, you can tell with the armor, we're not able to um, auto step up or so. We can get through gravel and dirt pretty easily, even through water, surprisingly, which I really sure to expect with, but it seems to be the case. Just make our way up. I forgot there was even water here. So we'll just get some ores. We'll get the so typical. And obviously as it is diamond and enderium and such, of course it can break pretty much the equivalent to diamonds, but uh, we'll just check what it's capable of harvesting speed wise, of course. And apologies for the frame rate. Gonna do that and maybe okay with the other way you kind of does change things but maybe okay come on work for me come on you can break obsidian and take that long there we go and obviously you can break uh the following here as well pretty quick um and i think that's about it oh come on there we go and it can to land yes it can all right and obviously be used as a weapon. So yeah, that's pretty much that. We'll just take this all off. We've got the test web test tool, which is pretty much just for the I guess equivalent to the multi tool we just used pretty much. Has a tool and and does all the other sort of stuff the multi tool can and has a hundred damage, so yeah. Um just go down here and test actually the stone and such. Yep, so it is pretty much just a multi tool test item. You've got the induction and smelter along with 
um, recipes for obviously pulverized coal and flint to make a coal ball. You then need a redstone furnace to then smelt it to get it burned, and then you need obsidian and the burned one to get a coal chunk. And uh, for configs, you've got pretty much energy consumption requirements, so how long it takes or how much um, is required for obviously making each of these, and you've got the multi-tool bases, which I assume is how long it takes okay, for energy for it to um, make the multi-tool be converted into such. So just energy value stuff there. So that's 1710. We'll quit that because we don't need any more. If we can unload everything correctly. <laughs> without too much issue, which might not happen. So we move on to 110, which I haven't set up yet, so we'll see. Uh, and we'll just do configs in the meantime, which allows you to pretty much just set the energy value for um, making a compact coal ball and an energy diamond, and I think the rest do. If 111 is pretty much the same, 112 is pretty much the same there. So nothing different between 110, 11, and 12 um, config-wise. Alright, so now I'll just go to here. And you've pretty much just got the armor with armor toughness on the following. Let me just put these on real quick. And the FOV and everything else still changes. So saturation, night vision, and speed. The recipes for them are pretty much like so, I think about the same, just obviously there's the different textures for these, for following, there's iridium plates, that one, there's florbs in this one, basic machine frame, and yeah, so pretty much similar recipes, I'm assuming it can do similar, and it takes up pretty much about what you'd expect I guess for um, actual space of armor plates and such, so there's that. So, that's pretty much it there, same amount of charge and so on. And uh, otherwise you've got your coal ball which is made with coal dust or pulverized or whichever you have. Some flint, you then compact it in the compactor, and you use a coal chunk after you've gotten the following, and you make a diamond from there. So that's 110. Uh, 111 I'm pretty sure is about the same, we've got some zombies here which is Right. And ruining this. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same, just ported maybe a few quick fixes and such. So coal ball, compacted, chunk, and then diamond. And then the armor is pretty much the same, I assume. Like so. There's that. So we'll quit this. Now we'll move on to 112 in the meantime. If I can get that to load, which is nice to do the next thing. And just wait for that. Meantime, I think I have to pick this up out, I think. Oops, so 111 is there. Alright. So we go to. create a new one for that because I don't want to mess up that existing world. And in the meantime we'll get the 116 version loading. So we have enough more that we can maintain at once. And I guess I can get rid of 110 actually while I'm at it because I'm loading the extra. We don't technically need it for this video. Okay, so you're gone. 116 will be quick. Alright, so with 112 I'm pretty sure it's the same as 110 and 111, but we'll just see. Uh, there's obviously mention here that, uh, okay, so that's just the installation stuff. IDs are changed, recipes are pretty much what you'd expect, which we've already covered. Got any more recipes? Oh, okay, so there is other recipes to consider which I didn't know about. Which I assume is new additions for the mod? Not the compactor for the thermal itself. Interesting. Um, so glad I covered that. Um, there's the following there. And there is just those recipes which we've already witnessed, so that's fine. Alright, so 116's doing the thing. Okay, 
sorry. Alright, sorry, 112. 130 is loaded. Let's do that again. Okay. Alright, sorry. We can get this going. Okay, so cool ball. Like so, like so, like so. And the other components are pretty much the same. Recipe wise, we'll just test this by just putting them on. And they're giving us effects and such, FOV change and so on. And yeah, if we check, of course, the armor points and such. It's quite a bit, surprisingly. Now it's updating it. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so the chest plate already fills up quite a bit. And then the helmet and otherwise does their own thing. Yep. But I think they're the same points as well. So that hasn't changed. It's just what it's visually doing there, I guess. I don't know. And uh, we'll just move on to 116 in Fabric, as the forward version is pretty much just recipes. Not really much has been added yet, as you can see here. So items and recipes for Quantum Armor and such is in the thing for Fabric. But uh, the forward one, uh, there's only just items. So we'll just look at the two here and the following. We'll just quit this because we don't need one as well anymore. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I need experimental warning things, mentions. So yeah. Now, obviously in the Fabric version, you pretty much get access to the recipes in Industrial Revolution and Tech Reborn. Uh, in the 116 version, nothing is really available yet, as I confirmed with the developer. So yeah, just check for recipes, and right, so I'll just go here. Uh, expansion, I'm trying to run by the expansion, here we go. So you just got your diamond, coal to diamond recipe. So you've got either coal dust from either of the two mods and flint. You've got that, and you need either a compressor from Tech Reborn or a compressor from uh, Industrial Reborn or Revolution. I mean, and then once you've got that, you just need the following and the obsidian, and then from there you just need the compressor again for both the diamond recipes. So that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. Uh, well, I guess we could check configs in case I'm missing something in 16 because I hadn't generated until now, and there isn't one as far as I can tell. So, yep. But, uh, yeah, and the items are just in the forward version because there's no machines to take advantage of it that they've implemented yet, um, as they're pretty much waiting for others, of course. Um, besides, I guess maybe they could use, like, uh, I guess industrial reborn, I think or mechanism or certain others, but either way. Um, obviously, their choice, and that's perfectly fine. Thanks so much for watching, though, and goodbye.